Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Radiant team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> Dire team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Lena. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Ancient apparition. Dire team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time.
Disruptor! Radiant this... team pick. Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Ten seconds remaining. Radiant team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Oh. Dire team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Phantom Assassin. Radiant team pick. Beastmaster. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Prepare for battle. Thank you very much, Dakota. Yeah, we're here. Game number four, IEG versus Secret High Blitz. It seems like we're mixing things up. They're just all chat flaming each other. <laughs> Nizir even throws out the RTZ Ember. Wow. Wow. This is definitely Fia. going to game five. That's, I believe you're playing PA. <laughs> that's a real thing. RTZ, they start with Stifling Dagger. They're going to glimpse RTZ back in again. We oh, he dodges the stun. the stun. He dodged the oh, Ice Rocket Ray, but RTZ, he'll go down. The Courier as well. What are you doing here? He's going to actually, no, they can't reach him. Can't reach it. The Stifling Dagger. But what have you got, like on PPD on Fear? 30 seconds Nothing. to battle. They have to retreat back out again. Secret first blood. All right. So RTZ just goes down like that. This I, isn't the I'm way kinda... I'm leaving, I think, losing to the PA. Yeah, I just, I, I mean, as they say that, he oh. instantly dies. It's the dangerous smack talk. It could always smack you back in the face. I, I just like the, I like the fact that teams smack talk. I know a lot of people don't. I find it really entertaining, and don't. I know that nobody takes it personally. The I know the fans of both of these teams are going to call everybody cocky and stuff like that, but just enjoy it. And that's the, that's the beauty of it. Like, that's meant to be, like, you're meant to get passionate about your team winning or losing. It was actually a phrase that was uh, coined over in Australia. I don't know if it ever leaked out to anywhere else, but it happened when um, 
and there were severe rules restrictions made on how players can interact with each other during the football. And uh, it was basically classes bring back the biff. You want you wanted teams to fight. You wanted to actually see the emotions pouring that is out not that a, way. That's not a thing in America. It's not a thing in America. Oh, well, it, it can it can become a thing. Bring back the biff. That's not something we're gonna use. That's instant, I'm instantly killing and vetoing that. No. Nope. It's done. It's terrible. Ah, that story was so underwhelming, Toby. That we're just gonna continue to cast this game, pretend like that didn't happen. Ow. I I, I forgot that you're not cap. I should be easy on you. <laughs> All right, so this game, Weeha is off to a pretty decent start. He's already got first blood, obviously, so he's going to have the advantage in this Puppy. matchup. He's in trouble right now on bottom lane. Damn, that damage! When you've got when you've got chilling touch as well as having the grave shield control and fear attacking from range, they do so much work with this with this combo. The panelists were calling this as an aggro tri lane, but even the defensive lane, obviously, like we've got tri versus tri at the moment. EG's just trying a little bit harder. Puppy's got to be careful. They've yeah, got they a go lot again. of offensive potential, and he even gets caught by the chains. One more hit. Ah, PA on 12, actually dropping out of 11 at one point life. The problem is they're getting decayed so much. Pilot's got five decays off already. EG just don't have the life to keep this chase going. At the same time, neither does, neither does Eternal Envy. And they go in deeper. Side of Fist in chains. Envy's out of break free. Coming in range of that tower on TZ. Really trying to force the issue. But unable to do so, but really, Secret need to stick around here. They're gonna full creep wave of, of farm to take. They cannot let this go. And at the same time, they know that EG is kind of out of steam right now. They don't have a salve on either of their heroes, unfortunately, but the soul rip and just chain eating tango should be able to do it for eternal envy is Chilling Touch has popped again. He's gonna get yeah. slowed up. They don't have yeah, any mana on Arteezy though, but can the right clicks do it? Oh, he plays back to the creep wave! Down to 22 again, it looks like top lane too, there's uh, okay, it's just a bit of a dive from Universe, he's creep skipping it out. Forcing the issue on Misery, sorry his life dropped pretty quickly. But man, this bottom lane, they're just going hammer and tongs. I love that they decided to go for the Darkseer in this game, because they know that Misery is going to be playing one-on-one. -on -one. This is a matchup that he can easily abuse, already up to 17 CS. Just to the 7 of Misery right now, and... This is what I thought they would do in earlier games, and they tried it in the first one, but Misery somehow kept up as the Knicks. But in this one, the Slaughter is going to struggle a lot more. He doesn't have a mana burn to fall back on, so Universe can just constantly spam out these Ion Shells and make it difficult for him to get close. Mm -hmm. Poppy got a little unlucky with his Sentry Ward on bottom lane. The Observer from EG is further over to the trees on the right. And he just went for the standard D Ward. Didn't find anything. PPD and Fear want to go again, because now, this EG lane's got even more damage, because you've got Soul Assumption available. So you can Grave Shield and Soul Assumption. At this point, he can't, because he's short by, by 15 mana. So it's just the early harassment at the start. But with Chilling Touch, Soul, Soul Assumption, and everything else, in fact, they just jump over on PPD. PPD has to retreat back out. The Sea Touch will keep him alive, but Eternal Envy just keeps going on an undying. Puts off the Soul Rip, and that takes out PPD. And it looks like actually on top lane, Misery. Into the tree line, Universe. Still has his iron shell, but Misery's got no life, no consumables. He's got nothing. He he's got a can't... catapult behind him too. I think he's actually just going to go for the straight up tower push. I don't think he can keep this catapult alive, but still, this is significant damage done to the tower. And I mean, when it comes to the laning phase, this Darkseer has had the best time possible. He's already up to 27 CS. He notices that Misery is still up there. Yep. Doesn't want to fully complete into the dive in case of TPs, but he's still bowling him out really effectively. He's got Surge in one second. He could potentially just run Misery down right now because there's nothing else. There goes your crush, Misery. Okay, he had to pop the mango. And <laughs> Even goes for the all. <laughs> all right. The all chat lol on the PA who dove underneath the tier one tower. Now we are actually rotates up to the top lane to catch out the poor little Darkseer, and that's going to finally give Misery a little bit of breathing room. Unfortunately, most of that breathing room will be done back at his fountain. I just love the fact that even in this scenario, RTZ goes for the tilt all chat. That's what you call it, when you want to try to piss somebody off. Right now, the laning phase, secret. They're doing a pretty good job of things right now, as Lino was able to rotate up there. Doesn't discount the fact, though, that the Darkseer still has as much farm as he does. Mm -hmm. But it does kind of make things okay, because now the Lina actually has 2,700 net worth. And this is on the heels of both getting First Blood and that really highly valued Darkseer. 
On the other lanes too, Samael, I think he's the last player which we haven't really touched on at all. He's gonna hawk it up. Hoping for just an instant raw kill. Make the most out of this nighttime timing. The Iron Shell from the Darkseal will allow the Creep Wave to push in a little bit harder. And the boar's just being a little bit more of a nuisance too. Because we don't even really care. Like, when you got three points up in Slave, you should be able to get rid of, like, Hawks and Boars without any real trouble. So Universe just kind of doing his normal thing. He's going to force Envy out as much as he possibly can. No matter what you put in this lane, you're sending a melee up to deal with the Darkseer. And that's a losing proposition is... Darkseer is the first in net worth on his team. Fortunately for them, everybody else is kind of falling behind a little bit, with the exception of Weeha. And he's the one from Secret, you really want to have momentum. Even with the nerf to your Scepter, you can still be very aggressive with this Lena. Universe is trying to have a crack here. Like, you said yourself, like, he wants to try and zone out PA, but using the Surge might be the last thing that he does. But how that comes in, there's your Soul Rim, and they just try and fight for the Dark Seal Wall! PA burning so quickly, but Universe will be locked inside the Disruption Wall. He cannot reach the PA, and in fact, eternally, if he kills the Cures with that Stifling Dagger. And that became a lot harder than it probably had to have been, but he was a fairly farmed up here. Bottom lane, Misery. He doesn't have Bash available, but Arteezy amplified up. Weeha Laguna Blade. Arteezy tries to dodge it with the Fighter Fist, but it was just a fraction of a second too early. And that's going to mean it's two cores down for EG on top and bottom lane. And they're definitely getting the better of things right now, is with that kill, Eternal Envy is going to jump up. Of that Ember Spirit who just dies, and Arteezy doesn't really have anything to work with right now. He's level 5. Misery is able to take him down so quickly with that Amplify damage. We saw in the last game, he's doing it again. And Galena is especially going to be effective. Going for the Yule Scepter build, she's going to be able to burn that Flame Guard quite quickly. And more importantly, with the Amplify damage on her, her right-click output is actually going to be fairly significant. I'm watching this top lane. MP was trying to set a bait here for Fear, who's desperately trying to get to his familiars. The only place he could really feel like he could do it is up on top lane, but the Observer Ward scouts him out, they'll drop the Tombstone, but they're not in range of Stifling. So Fear's just able to run himself back underneath that tier 1 tower. Rather difficult hero to kill off. Even though his base armor is zero, he's still got that Gravekeeper's Cloak plus the Tranquil Boost helping him out. So there's a lot of survivability on that passage. Everybody's got a game plan until they get Amplified damage though, Toby. <laughs> True. <laughs> then the armor just gets stripped away. To mention, like, is Amplify damage and its crit combined? Like, it almost feels like as long as those, like, you get the Amplifying off and you get something like a BKB over on the PA, or at least enough survivability you can stand during the fight, there's never a fight which is properly won for EG. Beastmaster's coming up. Mm. They've got a ward in this area. Looked like he wanted to try to kill Weeha, but Weeha's gonna do the smart thing, just immediately TP back. He's really close to his Yule Scepter already. He's got 4,300 net worth in this game. Quite a bit ahead of everybody else. If you combine PPD's net worth with the Beastmasters, they're still behind. PPD also hasn't broken the four digits, which isn't terrific. Misery is also having a good time now in mid. Not getting pressured, he took over from where Weeha was. And the Beastmaster can't really do much against this. Like, you can roar over on the slaughter, but you're still burning through 1,000 life with potential TP support coming in from Secret. Paradise only got one level up in Soul Rip, but that's still enough that we'll get Slaughter back out to safety if he has to TP in. But they're smoked up behind the tower instead for the picks. But EG, they're all grouped up inside their own base. They smoke themselves. Universe will hang around, but he actually breaks the smoke to finish his jungling. But it was PPD and Samael who ended up getting smoked up. A secret are coming to the mid. Universe just on the other side of the river. Now they see him. They understand he's there, but they've got no ability to jump, so they have to loop all the way around, or glimpse back the target. Radio it looks like choices. It actually looks like they are either going to go the long way, all the way into the jungle, and the smoke's going to run out before that timing. They're making sure that if anybody Radio comes for this top area to try to stop Eternal Envy from just doing damage to this tower, they'll be able to nab him and just be universes. He has no idea that this trap is set up. They're just patient. They're going to get a free kill on a pretty high-level hero. They're patient, and Universe. Ah, oh, Laguna Blade will ensure the kill. <laughs> I don't want to get any closer, just in case anyone else from EG was there. What a trap set up by Team Secret. They smoke in case of any of that vision, and instead of trying to force it, they understand that as long as they show Envy at that top lane, 
Somebody's gonna come up there. Okay, one tower is toast now. Only to get the kill on the Darcy, you're injecting even more money into Secret. That you also you're talking about over on Wee Hunt is now done. You'll take out the, the top, lane, top lane of uh, Creeps 2. That's easy trying to find a trade off. They're just pushing the bottom. They have to right now. They've got to get something out of this, but Misery's just going to come in. One Amplify damage is going to make RTZ consider his life. He's just going to back out. You need the level 6 completed on PPD as well before you want to get into this fight. There's no reason they're going to circle out, but a lot of map control going the way of Team Secret right now. They've taken the safe lane tower. Weeha's got an unbelievable amount of farm. Nobody from Team, C Team EG can really challenge that at this point. They've got no mech completed on their darks here yet. You have this beast mask with uh, with blink dagger money. In fact, that's exactly what Smell is going to be build, building into. They really must want to get aggressive then. This is a really nice pickup by him because you need some way to counter initiate, and more importantly, if you can lead with that onto the Lina, she's not very tanky. The blink dagger is about to be finished by Misery, and that's a really fairly significant pickup. It's him alone. Maybe with the help of one other hero, they can knit. They can actually kill RTZ really quickly. Like Puppy's got Static Storm available. It's one of the better counters to any of the spirits in the game. PBD. Crit on the first jump in. PBD, they need one more attack. Stifling Dagger will do the work. He's on 28 life into the tree line. Samael could commit the raw for this effect. He is going to. And with a chilling touch damage and Ice Blast Envy, he wants to TP back to base, but this will not be successful. He should shatter back at the home. Yep, there it goes. Visage also being picked up at the same time by Lena, so it's a one-for-one -one trade off but you just lost your PA for a Visage. Really well done by PPD, getting his level 6 out of that top lane, even gonna go for the turnaround Snipe Blast with only 100 health. Sumail was right there though, and gonna make Envy think twice before he gets into any of those scenarios again. But once again, Arteezy, he's not able to get any sort of farm, it's just the product of the, the way that the lanes were set up and the fact that he hasn't had too much support with them. But he's got to get something out of it. The yep. two birds are protecting him, so he should be okay. They're even going to TP down fear. He's going to rotate to the jungle, I believe. He's going to run into ward vision, but... It won't, it won't really matter at this point. Not when EG have so much support around. So secret. They're just going to pick their fights, right? Tier 1 towers are still the bigger objectives. The observer wards will give them a little bit of extra vision. And in fact, uh, Fear in fact moves the familiars into the mid lane. So he's always trying to isolate himself from his familiars. So they're, they're ready for the fight. Samal runs in, raw, just came off, could have a puppy. He gets the ulti off. There's not enough mana for a glimpse, however, so he cannot drag Samal back. If he did, Samal should be dead right now. Yeah, maybe instead of using the Thunderstrike, if he was able to get the glimpse off, that would have been a better opportunity. But they really start smartly decide to immediately smoke up. They're going to look for a kill, and then afterwards you can even go for the Roshan. It looks like is going to be their target, but pretty far away, and I think they're just going to have to settle for Fia. They have no vision of him right now. We have this TP's on cooldown for one more second. Does he go? I think he gets out. They brought help. Some male TP to the bottom lane. But they do find a big target. The tombstone to drop down from Pylai. Die only hits one with an AK, but Misery hits two with a crush for that mech already up for Universe. Letting it work so much more on the ice blast. blast! What a perfect back combo! That's the way to make it work as Weeha. He was trying to go on some mail, but now he's got familiars on his tail. They this have their huge stuff. There's streak. one, there's two. Weeha will drop, the Sarge will take the streak as well. Three heroes lost for Team Secret, and that turned very ugly very quickly. Without the Disruptor Ultimate and nothing backing them up, yeah, you got the initiation off with the Slardar, but at the same time, the mech from the Darkseer and that vacuum all into that Ice Blast. So well set up by EG. The scary team fight combo. They showed it on day one of MLG. They're showing it here again. Universe Dota. He's so consistent for their team. They're going to be able to grab this tier 1 tower without a whole lot of fight. Team Secret, they've got to be worried as Puppy. Oh, they fought. Puppy's in too deep. He'll throw down the ulti, which means it will lock in Arteezy. Misery trying to amplify up and crush him down. And there is that crit coming in with the Ancient Apparition helping out. That's going to be a one still one for one trade-off. 
Laguna Blade from Weeha did the work. They want to look for more though. Yep, and can they catch it? The blink crush forward. Fear is the main man out of, out of position. They back back four, but Universe, the Stifling Dagger will severely slow him down and will allow for another Light Striker AP. PA just wants to attack in and will be able to do so. Weeha, he's the man that finds the last bit of physical damage. The TP out from PBD successful. And EG. This might mean... Hmm? For a second I thought they were gonna head towards that Roche area, but I guess when you're fighting against the Ancient Apparition and your team isn't the healthiest, probably not the best idea, but still, really good turnaround from Team Secret. Arteezy was just positioned a little bit too far forward, they instantly make the jump on him, and Misery's just making this work really well right now. He had that early death, but ever since then, 0, 1, and 6 for him, a lot of good initiations. This is the strength of the Slardar, you can constantly look for the re- the, uh, re-engage. Here, he, at bottom, they're gonna drop the tombstone for him too. Uh, can they get close enough? Damn, that Sol Rip does a lot of damage. That's one way to get close enough. By glimpsing him back, the wall doesn't control him enough, but Envy, he just jumps in. Weeha takes so much damage from these familiars. One of them does get picked off, and Weeha just wants to get the hell out of here. He's got enough regeneration with one charges and bottles. They can stick around and try and finish off this tower. I think you back. You don't have a lot of mana on your undying, if at all. Weeha's pretty low, there's no reason to chance that. You don't want to just do what EG did and slightly overextend and suddenly lose two or three heroes. EG just smoked as well. Yeah, this is the correct decision. Just back up. Everyone's not quite healthy enough. Try to secure some Ancients for Eternal Envy. Notice Play Envy's build too. No Helm with the Dominator, he wants to go in for the Mask of Madness as this Phantom Assassin. Adds a lot of confidence to hope he doesn't get nailed, but I suppose if he's gonna get nailed, it's gonna be by the AA ulti and then Helm with the Dom won't really help you much anyway. Arteezy's gonna walk up, but Eternal Envy, he's got a blink target. They can see him. Yeah. It's the Hawk. Where's the extra help? PA is dead. That Ice Blast will hit perfectly from PPD, but Misery jumps forward. They want revenge. You're gonna, gonna lose Arteezy for this. They glimpse him back in again. So a one for one trade off. Fear will probably just resummon the familiars instead of losing that one. This is free gold. Just keeps him here as long as possible. Still, you go for this four-man smoke, you still lose your own carry. And this just kind of propels Weeha even more above everybody else. He's got 7,700 net worth. Looks like he's going to go for the Bloodstone. Continue snowballing forward. Instead of going is, for this, the is it still worth going for the Bloodstone? Uh, I think there's a trade-off. If you go for the Aghanim Scepter, you really need to just get kills non-stop. But if you go for the Bloodstone, it's easier to farm and keep up. And if you take a look at Team EG's lineup, there's nobody that he has to quite get it for immediately. It's not uh -huh. like he's playing against an anti mage or anything where the pure damage is going to make the biggest difference. Thank you all. So I try and get more more momentum than anything else. I'm, I'm assuming that's why we're looking at the Mask of Madness as well over on this PA. Just so PA, if he does jump in, he can quickly get the kill, move on, or farm rotations for Envy. I think it mainly has to do with farm rotations. Also, if they want to go for Roshan, it'll help out a lot. It's cheap damage. You gotta be careful though. If he goes for this type of build, you can't really afford to get Ice Blast by the Ancient Apparition, because any sort of damage source after that will just kill you. Yep. You might also want to be careful about these Necro Books. Puppy gonna get caught out, puts the wall down, waiting a little bit long before he drags out TZ back. Puppy, he should explode right now, they can't heal him back up. As the male locked in inside the edge of that disruption ulti. TZ wants to go for more. Weeha, no defensive Yule Scepter available to him. He needs PA to jump in and give him that. We get the double ice strike array by space. And Arteezy, he's been brought down. No crit, however, for Envy. But the Thunder Strike will do the work. The back from Universe trying to control Pile I Die. But he doesn't have enough life for this. The Familiars, they don't have enough damage. And there's your crit from Eternal Envy. He finds the other. Then it's all up to fear. He's up on top lane. But it's his Familiar Burst trying to track down Puppy. They've got their stuns available. But Weeha rotates over this, no resummon available, they cannot afford to lose these guys. In fact, he'll lose one, and this is Roshan for Secret. Without the PD Ice Blast available, they're gonna take this with ease. That's a four-man wipe for Team Secret. What a time to do it too, doubling up on the kills of EG right now, and... I mean, Eternal Envy not dying there was so clutch. Puppy was able to get his ultimate off on a bunch of heroes. You can't really get into losing fights against a Slardar. He's gonna chase you down every single time. This Misery Slaughter, it's paid off again for the second time in a row, and EG's not out of this quite yet. Things are kind of looking pretty rough right now. Like, two fights in a row like that where they just kind of get slaughtered. Can't really afford that. Kyo was about to try a solo kill over on Weeha. If that Ice Blast was capable of hitting. 
Could have given it a shot. Man, Envy. He gets the Mortal Mask of Madness. It's, it's a license to dive for Eternal Envy. You can crit up around 370 just sort of on the, on the creeps. And these EG heroes don't really stand a chance if he's able to get a couple of those off. And rapidly approaching level 16. There's your Bloodstone 20 minutes in for Weeha. With the Yule Scepter as well as the Magic Wand. It's like we've just gone back a patch as far as the builds. And this build's pretty common, or has been for quite some time, just because it's if you don't want your Lina to have to kind of purely be a ganker, so she can kind of go back to farming as well. Highlight die 4 stuff. He's even going to get the tombstone oh. down on the high ground. Middle lane. A glimpse. It's going to drag some L back into Puppy's ultimate. Beastmaster getting Laguna bladed down as well. There's just no hope for that. And when you get the Darkseer up and towards the air, Weehar, he's got the Sun of Babel. Universe tries to back it back into the Ice Blast, but the only thing that really happens is Puppy Look gets at a little that bit damage. Chill. Universal pop, and now it is. It's Arteezy chasing after his former old man, Fear, into the trees. He'll lose sight of him, however. The old man's a widely one as Misery looking to chase after Arteezy. He jumps himself over towards the Ancients of Misery. He's got the Arteezy's chase going gonna run into right in front of him. There goes your crush. Amplify up as well. They'll keep the vision over on him. Puppy, he'll actually survive. He goes inside the smokes of these familiars from fear can't even get the counter kill onto the secret captain eight to 18 they continue to extend their lead right now through pure flat out aggression misery leading the charge every single time but the entirety of team secret that's playing so well together that glimpse was what started it all weha hits every single stung sun along the way they're just kind of widening their lead right now is that ice blast isn't able to connect on anybody and you, you talked about the Beastmaster being counter-aggression. Samel jumped in there and then wasn't able to get the kill. It's almost like a bit of a no-no when you go up against someone like a Disruptor, because you'll always, he'll always punish you. Yeah, you can't really afford to make those mistakes, because Team Secret, their lineup, is built on pure aggression. When you've got a hero like Slardar, you don't want to play super passively or defensively, and probably the same applies to the Disruptor, if not more. Glimpse is kind of a useless ability if you're behind at any phase of the game. You want to be able to use it to continue the pursuits, to continue to get aggressive, and that's what we're seeing right now from Team Secret. You see it from Eternal Envy's build as well. No defensive, no S and Y. He goes directly in for the Basher on the back of that Mask of Madness. He wants as much control as he can get. Misery's almost got his BKB too. This is really going to ramp things up for them. Weeha's going to go back for the Aghanim Scepter now. Good choice by him, and he's actually really tanky right now. 1600 HP to him. More importantly, his damage output is quite high, especially when he's got Misery backing him up with that Amplify damage. Gonna Amplify damage, you got double damage rune. I get himself great. 10 Bloodstone charges as well, so there's even a secondary fight for Secret, depending on the denial timing. At this point, I'm starting to... I'm gonna get pretty comfortable concept of calling the double damage the Weeha rune. Okay. Similar to how... It is for uh, S4 in the haste. Uh, Envy? He is gonna die. Yes, he will. Jaeger's Immortal is the only thing that is lost, however. But EG, the primary thing they had to commit was the Ice Blast. That was all for EG. There's also keeping in mind that's the reveal of the Basher. He was able to get, like, the second hit he, he threw into fear, he was able to get the Bash off. So it's gonna be in the back of the minds as well of EG. They have to play up against even more RNG. As long as the PA has got enough of that as it is. To hit level 16 on Weeha. Trying to repel Arteezy from farming. And help it in. Arteezy's just desperately trying to get whatever he can. He does have the drums. Try to make himself a little bit tankier, but it doesn't really seem to matter when it comes to the Amplify damage or the Static Storm. He's desperately trying to farm up that Battle Fury before the next engagement. Not too far away from it anymore. Damage. Secret know exactly where EG are moving. Not their current position, but it's this Observer Ward that's just on the on the front end of the Radiant Jungle. You saw all of EG move up, and also saw the fact that they had a smoke on them, which now will be popped. But EG feel the confidence. Like they just see Eternal Envy farming in the mid. What they don't understand is, Secret are now going to play Switcheroo. They smoke up themselves, they move down into the Radiant Jungle. And EG, they're camping over on the Dire side. <laughs> Or just basically switched homes. And secret, EG's trap is being prepared. EG's that... got to be careful. They don't have a TP up on Arteezy. So this could very well just be an exchange where that EG obs... have no way to get out. That obs is seeing Envy. 
And they want to come up. Misery blinks forward. And where do they go? The Vortex drops. So Misery already realizes there's a couple of them here. Fear is going to get glimpsed, but it has no real effect. Samel. He is actually the stifling dagger find RTZ, and there's your back wall from Universe. Catching out three, seven up for the thousand damage. Poppy will drop down. PPD throwing out the ice mask. Sorry, a little bit too late as Weeha can't even pick off some mail. EG, they'll get rid of the tombstone, they'll get rid of the disruptor with a great initiation. They don't find much more than this, but the Great Wave is already there and they're looking for the chase. Coming after Misery, who's going to TP himself out. They do find that opening over on the Phantom Assassin and Eternal Envy in real trouble until he can blink out to Weeha. Paying around for his teammate. You'll set the defensive is still available for Weeha. Or maybe even aggressive at this point. Nope, it will be the defensive one as the buyback comes down from Puppy. They want to try and fight. EG is very, very deep on the secret side of the base and they want to punish it. And having that happen, you just drag him all the way back. Slide a fist from Arteezy. He's able to get the kill over on the Lena, but they just keep the control going. The crush is not going to be enough. Fear is being controlled. Puppy just kiting him out and the amplification keeps the vision up as well as allowing them to find the kill. Misery a second too late to catch out PPD who TPs himself back to home. So you get the kill on a Weeha. Arteezy does walk away with one. He's got the Battle Fury completed too. Decent maneuvers by Team EG. What I really liked most about that is how they set it up. They use the birds to scout, and most most importantly, everybody from Secret said, okay, attack the birds, attack the birds. Then they got led into that three-man vacuum. Gotta be more careful than that as Team Secret. You gotta realize that Fear isn't leaving those out just for you to kill. It's cheese to the trap. Man, Secret got their fill. Yeah, you lose Weeha, you have to buy back on your on Puppy. But the respawn was, is also just so quick, like you're down to 7 Bloodstone charges on Alina, that's still bloody good. Point booster as well, keeping you now about 2,000 gold away from having that Ags upgrade. You get the point booster now coming in for a PPD. The Ice Basket caused severe problems for Team Secret. You've almost got the Aghanim Scepter now completed on Fear as well. Despite how everything looked for the past, the previous 10 minutes, EG walk away with that previous fight, kind of okay. And the lead is only at 5,000 gold right now, so even though the score says 21 to 10, the actual lead is okay right now. Ember Spirit has been able to keep up. This Visage is actually pretty farmed. Everything is manageable. EG Shard. Maybe not fighting him from the tier 3 towers, but they fight on more even terms. I suppose you can't really have much more even terms than having that high ground advantage. Setting the trap and Secret walking directly into it. So maybe Secret then just make their own field of battle. This time will be the tier 2 tower on the bottom lane. Their high ground isn't fantastic, because you've got a hero like PA who you don't want to front line in a game like this. Misery isn't a tower hitter either. Weeha does okay at it, but... You want an Aegis on him, presumably, before you go for any sort of major push. So they're just going to take down all these tier 2 towers, because it's so easy to grab for them when they're this far ahead. And wait for the next Roshan, and then you can start thinking about things like the high ground if you need to. They're still getting split push, uh, uh, like, uh, quite a bit. You had a couple of players from EG pushing down the mid. You had uh, Arteezy farming up the top lane. Roshan is now another minute away, and Secret might have that bottom lane pushing into the tier 3 tower. But EG setting up for the mid. The top lane's already got a decent momentum for EG's way. I'm looking for a little bit more. Got the triple birds and that vacuum wall combination by the darks here, and that's something that Secret have to pay attention to. You have to be so careful when you're playing against that. There's so much chaos that can be created, and if RTZ just lands one slide of fist in the middle of all of this, just be a full team wipe. Give it a shot. Familiar birds, this tower doesn't really stand a chance, and Secret don't have anything to initiate on. Like, you fortify because there's rats hitting your tower. Your tombstone as well. But the familiars are also quite good at getting rid of that tombstone. And then they'll just deny the tower, and EG's happy to back up from here. They got what they came for, they currently have a one tower advantage. It's insane that even in this position they're able to play that aggressively and just take the tower in front of Team Secret. But Team Secret, you don't want to really risk the game on the hopes of that tier 2. Going for something like the Roshan is a lot safer. Especially when you've got a Slardar, but EG, they've got the Hawk vision advantage going through. A lot of different ways to set this up and they know that Team Secret are all atop. Really just going to chance this on their own. They don't have a medallion. They had the level 3 Necro books up and running. 
And with Familiar, they've got enough control as well. Even if it's just forcing Secret into a fight, like the implications over on Arteezy, he actually walked into the pit to reveal out the status of Roshan. Maybe not the greatest thing in the world, but Misery being very, very open to coming in. These Necro books have already been triggered. Roshan's not dead yet. Misery with his BKB. Oh, he he jumped no in, but they jump back out again. The Poppy Ulti is down, but Fear, he's in real trouble. The back will come back out. The walls are really doing enough at the moment. The Sarge just drops an eternal enemy, praying for a crit. Finally gets one over on TPD, who wants to keep running himself away. He still can't find another one. Phantom Strike up, not going to happen. Not with the triple stuns coming down from Fear's Familiars. It's still a two for one trade off. Roshan. Battling up against undead minions, but this wall has divided the river. Misery wants to try and loop around it. He's got a potential blink to double crush. He sees Samael as well as PPD. Jumps in. He actually gets the extra bash as well. Misery for the double kill. Samael needs to blink up. An extra ball to slow down this ladder. Universe right behind the iron shell burn. It was just in range. Ladder will be awarded the kill, however. Might even get Puppy here as he's pretty isolated out, but the real target Roche, right huh? now is for the Roche. Everyone's starting to buy back as Weeha's gonna walk in. They've got a vision of this. The they bash the even hits on the Samael. There's no Laguna Blade though. He's still eight seconds away, but the physical damage is enough. The Yule Scepter taking our TZ out. That means no Flame Guard, but Universe back in again to go in for that pack. big back. But Misery too quick on the mark. They're gonna glimpse back Universe as well. Secret. Their buybacks, they're now instantly worth it, getting the kill on two more cores. Not to mention Roshan. These birds from Fear are causing real issues around Roshan. And that's why they're moving out. They want to get rid of a couple of them at least. There's one, but they can't get the couple. A couple is two. The Ice Blast is going to fall in, hit Weeha. This is going to make them kind of reconsider for half a second, uh, but... Yeah, you'll set up. <laughs> just get the birds and you're perfectly okay. Everyone's filtered in now. Arteezy had to use a buyback for that fight. Still was unsuccessful. They weren't able to hold the Roche. Now it's going to be Secret that take it for themselves, moving themselves one step closer. Being able to win. And Weeha getting lucky too, he picked up a full regen rune. <laughs> Straight back up to full life. You can see Secret, even though they did expend, expend money, they really just get the biggest advantage. 13,000 in the experience advantage, still got 7k for the gold as well. Critical items are all there. The Aghanim Scepter is now done for the Lena. Disrupt is at least causing some problems with that Glimmer Cape of his. And having the Blink BKB in front with another 2.3k. You start giving even more life to Misery. It just took EG a little bit too long to do that Roshan. And then when it came to the actual fight, Arteezy, even with the buyback, they're not able to do as much because you've got the dire side advantage on Team Secret. Yeah, when they go for the buyback, they're there so much faster. I'm kind of surprised EG even went for it. I was expecting him to use Roshan as bait more than anything else. I think that was the initial plan, and being able to fight around that area with Triple Bird's vacuum wall is a pretty decent setup, but... They got split up early and often. Well, they found familiars. They don't have the drop available, hence they're having to take this damage. Well, they can't catch up to the other two. And this really is like what Fear is almost forced to do. Just keep that split push going. Keep secret. Splitting their team up. Try and deal with the, with the pressure they apply, but when you have moments like this, Universe out a little bit too far. He spies up his grease before death. But Weeha and Poppy, very efficient. Poppy just came in to say hello at the end. But well, it was all Weeha's work, really. He's also there to make sure in case Universe gets a little bit of distance between him and Weeha. He's got the glimpse, but it doesn't even matter as Weeha's damage is pretty insane right now with the Aghanims. 13 Bloodstone charges to his name. Got an Aegis on Eternal Envy. I'd imagine they want to start going for the push, especially with the... 9 second BKB still on him, and I think a similar number on their Slardar, yes. This is where you want to start getting really aggressive if you're Team Secret. Blink Dagger for Weeha will help you to do that. That was Blink Initiation, no wonder, no wonder, no longer worrying about that short range Yule Scepter. I'm still wondering when Samael is meant to have a, have a real effect. Because he triggered his Necro unit so early on in that fight, it never really felt like he was able to achieve anything. Like you bore and you hawk up, but Secret is seeing him coming. And yeah, there was no way that you were going to do it without them, so he pops them really early, but even then, the damage was kind of lackluster. Secret are gathered around this area. They've got an Invis rune on Misery, too. 
They might smoke up and just immediately run into him. Misery should just blink away. Oh, that wasn't the dream. Misery does blink out. The observed ward was only just deep water. That was EG's vision with the back. Three man wall, but the ice blast well on target. So Mal will be able to get the roar over on Misery, but Eternal Envy on the back lines. Keeping Eternal uh, keeping Cartesi out of the fight. The Mal gets critted up through. That's not the way to live through this. He's so low on life, and he will go down to the Thunder Strike. They try and bring it back. Misery caught out from the west side. Ooh, and we are. He wants more. Laguna Blade is still available for him. It's a one for one trade off. They glimpse Spear back a little bit further. PA, there goes your Laguna Blade with the slave. Blinking forward, Weeha. He's going to finish the job. The Pylite dies in a lot of trouble. You burn your Eagles, Immortal on Eternal Envy. And now it's just up to Weeha and Eternal Envy. The Necro units right behind him. Aren't easy. Side of Fist Searing Chain Control is there. Familiars drops are available. There's one. They drop There's down. two. One, two. The third one. Now it comes down just at the nick of time. And they will kill off. Eternal Envy and Evil Geniuses having a favorable fight. Uh, what looked to be a bit of a disastrous start. Absolutely massive by them to be able to hold that. They were able to split that fight so beautifully. They isolate the Slardar, the bane of their existence in that fight. Universe has a really good initiation and it takes them just a little bit too long to kill Sumail. Fantastic fight by them. I don't quite know how EG does it, but Goldgraph is starting to tick up a little bit. Things are looking really bright right now. It's 3,200 gold on RTZ. You've still got a lot of different ways to win this game if you're EG. You can rely on either the Ice Blast hitting, if Arteezy gets a good slide of fists off, if you got a good vacuum wall. There's tons of ways to be able to do this. <laughs> With the Ice Blast hitting too. Riha gets tagged by it as he, as he leaves the base. He thought his regeneration would be enough. But really he walks. good micro too by Fear, by the way, at that last second. Oh yeah. Being able to lock down that Phantom Assassin for so long. He had to wait for that third familiar. It still had the stun on cooldown, I believe. They used one of them before. It's EG now, getting on the aggressive. You can at least take out the tier 2 tower. Dyer's but if you win one fight, it looks like... For both sides, they've got high ground potential. All you gotta do is just win one fight. Old Graph is at about 5k. A lot better than what it was before. Could have been a 10k advantage for Team Secret at one point, but... EG managed to hold. They're gonna smoke up, but they don't have... What's your objective with yeah, this they don't, they don't have the Aegis this time around. I think they're just going to try to get some control. They've got Ward Vision in the jungle. They're going to see all of EG here. This is pretty perfect for them. EG don't back up soon enough, but they're already on the retreat. They understand. Everybody's off the map. Doors was actually staying close enough. He could have could break the smoke. We're still here in, in nighttime when Weeha jumps forward. They're too late in the stuns. And of Spirit was out there for RTZ. Haste. That smoke's gonna fail. Secret are just gonna kind of circle out. They have to back up. These familiars are pushing in the top lane too far. Yeah, they gotta make sure that the split push doesn't happen. And without the smoke available, you don't really want to play that game. Wait oh. things out. Wait for the next Roshan if you're Team Secret. But EG, they're pretty comfortable playing this position. You got not a whole lot of ways for Team Secret to go for the high ground. And the smokes are gonna be on cooldown for quite some time from Team Secret. They just have to wait before they can go again. Either that or you just wait for Roshan to be back up again. And use that as bait. We need vision around the pit. Right now they've got a very defensive observer ward watching around the bottom tier 2 tower area. artizi has got the crit on him too. And if he wanted to, he could almost finish that Daedalus up, but... I'd imagine you just wait for the buyback in case things go disastrously. Because say, like, how risky would that be? To sacrifice your buyback, like... A little bit of extra damage? As long as RTZ has buyback, I don't think it's going to be feasible for Team Secret to go for the high ground. We are looking forward, but too late to go for the stun. Even then, can we do that initiation? Like, you blink in your Yule set for him up to go for the Light Strike Array. But the, the Amber Spirit should be able to get out. Yeah, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is slide a fist as you come down. But there's some counters where the Lina can actually just go for the stun half a second later. But then that means that Arteezy just goes for something else and hold that thought as Sumail. That was a little bit easier. Puppy throws down the ulti, but Universe! Oh, it's a ball what a ball, setup! And with a blast, it's gonna hit really hard! Follow up though. It's not there. Misery got the BKB off beforehand, so they don't really have a lot of damage. The follow up might just come from Eternal Envy. He's chasing after Universe, but Universe instantly pops the Greaves, dispels the slow, and Misery, he walked straight past him! He didn't get the crush in time! 
a small little branch covering what was the secret of universe. They were so close to that too. The zombies were leading him right there. Misery reacts half a second too late, but it doesn't really matter. They get a pick off on a pretty significant core. Roshan is gonna come up fairly soon. It does, that's gonna be Team Secret's moment to go, but I don't really wanna push before that point. These familiars, Garrison from Poppy will protect him. As well as that Glimmer Cape. The Ice Blast, however, I don't know if that'll protect you. 415, what level are we looking at? That's a level two ulti. He should be okay. Birds are still gonna go for the split push. 400 damage on that tower. TZ gets a lot of farm during that time as well. Bissell Blade is completed on Eternal Envy though, so that's another factor of control that they've got working for them. And the data list is complete by your TZ. We have another Ags arriving in the hands of the Undying. 40 gold away from the complete one. Should be able to wait for it in this space. 10 strength, that's gonna mean a lot to heroes like this Ember Spirit who already doesn't have a lot to work with and his armor's not gonna be the best, especially when he's got the slaughter on top of him. It's gonna be a level 3 amplified damage, 20 armor. Is that is that when it's worthwhile for the Ember Spirit to move into something more like the Scardi to get a little bit more stats? I think so. Even gonna go for something like the BKB at a blink would probably be really effective. If they're gonna go for Artesia top. Gonna go for the Abyssal and he gets it! And the defensive spirit. Even with the Abyssal, they need more control over an Arteezy. I in thought Misery was closer actually, but... We weren't able to get it. When you actually think of it, like, how much lockdown do you have? Without the Disruptor, kind of impossible. And if you do get that BKB up, then Disruptor needs to get Nag and Imscepter in order to keep that control on, on, on Arteezy. I mean, they really just need a combination of two heroes to be able to kill Arteezy. If you've got the... Lena plus pretty much either the PA or the Slardar, you can probably kill him. And the Disruptor plus any of those two cores would do the same. Really, that was just a little bit of a coordination error. I think it just came down to the fact that Eternal Envy didn't have a lot of time, so you just had to throw out the Abyssal. Otherwise, Arteezy just gets out. Better to chance it than anything. It's Roshan time again. The big man's up. And up, uh, well there's your jump forward, the male getting caught, he wants to go for the roll, the Ice Blast will be out of connect, but doesn't do any of the burst damage, over onto the PA, meanwhile on the back line, it's Arteezy being harassed down by Weeha, who will be out of kick, pick off Universe, Misery is going to ensure it with a crush, but PBD will drop as well, there's the three for nothing trade off, and Fear is stranded, there's no way home, four heroes lost, they do pick up Eternal Envy. But at the same time, this at the same time, Roshan spawns up. So you're gonna lose the next Aegis the Immortal as well. Or for one trade. Belina's going for more. He doesn't have. He jumps the defensive spirit. Oh, that would have been. Okay. That would have been amazing. And now Arteezy goes the other way. <laughs> he, he blinked himself forward to the defensive spirit because the Observer Ward scouted it out. So he was hoping that Arteezy would just tap it. I don't even know if he gets the kill without his ultimate, anyways, but. That was a really good attempt, and most importantly, you just want to make sure that the Amber has no chance to contest them with Roshan. And it's going to go on to Weeha, I'd imagine, but they're just going to circle out, actually. A lot of time to spare. Why they don't Looks like they're this. just going to back. There's no, there's no split push going on. you got a lot of players dead. The Ice Blast will come in, but you're very, very healthy on all your heroes. I think they're just going to heal and go for it again soon. But I think they could have completed it in that time. Like, Roshan was about half. But everyone just backs off at once. Very unusual. Add that to the list of questions for why Secret didn't want to finish up Roshan. Meanwhile, Arteezy is having himself a great time. Up to 2.9k. Yeah, he didn't really get his team alive during that last fight, but he's still becoming a, a bit more of a powerhouse. If he can get one damage item and they aren't able to get picked off, then be okay. But Team Secret, they're gonna they're gonna wrap around. They're wrapping around underneath the Hawk vision, though. If the night time has just started, Misery will get rid of that Hawk. So Secret at least removed the vision. But Beastmaster is also here, walking around with his Invis rune. There is the gem over on Misery, so you got to keep tabs on that. But yeah, there's no reason for EG to fight this. Like they're moving up towards the mid lane, the familiars are coming up as well. And in fact, Secret are going to jump in, so what they could have done before, they're now going to do. They're after Roshan. They did that so quickly. 
There's still some cheese on the ground too. And Misery's gonna grab that. JP's crawl drop. Yeah, she drops the gem for it. Oh, right, somebody should definitely go back for that. Yeah, yeah pa Pilot Eye is gonna grab it. <laughs> he should be tanky enough during the fight to survive. I guess it really doesn't matter. They were able to do it half a second later, and Sumail actually might just get picked off. Weehaw's got the Shadow Blade, and yes. Look how quickly he goes down. How do you get that initiation when, when they can see you blinking in and you can't rely on yourself to initiate? Shadow Blade. And now they can go for more. That's easy. He's a long way up here. So they start with the Yule Scepter. Puppy drops the ulti, so there's no way for RTC to jump out of here. Two very quick kills. Great setups from Secret. Their movement across the map throughout this entire series has been really awesome. They set that one up so well. For a second, I was thinking to myself, how does Alina set up? RTC just blinks back using the sleight of fist and then remnants Rings away, but Puppy was right there. Definitely didn't see that one coming in. This might actually just mean high ground right now, or at least force the buyback out on Arteezy. But without the Beastmaster available either, this is going to be a pretty rough hold. We've got the Ice Blast and the Vacuum Wall. Oh, they get the jump. It's over on Fear. We can't Light Strike Array. Laguna Blade as well. Misery to fold up. But the back, the wall. It's up here from the Dark Sea. Oh, Misery going down so fast. much damage. We can't. He's dead already. The Ice Blast will fly in, but it's still that PA on the front line. And to ensure the kill over on over on Visage, but Arteezy once more. The familiars are moving forward, and the BTs, they're being used on the familiars. And say hello to Samael, the glimpse, you're going to send him all the way back into the dire jungle at this point. As PA battling up against himself. The illusions from the Dark Sea of Wall. Universe has that Blink Dagger, he's jumping forward into the ultimate of Puppy, but then with the crush, the Slide of Fist, the damage, Universe will go down! Eternal Envy saw the opening and just went for it. The familiar control wasn't enough for him to work with, and now, with the buy-up from the double BTs, it's the, big, it's the Blink forward from Weeha, able to get forward into PPD. And this is real trouble for EG, they don't have buyback on Universe or on Fear. It's gonna be a very tough defense for them. Without the Darks here, this is going to get infinitely harder because that was what was able to hold that last fight. Him getting that really nice vacuum all off. You don't have PPD either. And he's got that Aghanim Scepter. Buy out on him, but... Might just have to give up this first set of racks without your Darkseer available. They can at least drive the Kree Wave down and get rid of it. So, Envy, with the familiar stuns, it's... Not the easiest talent you've ever seen, and there's your buyback from the Ancient Apparition. Look for that Ice Blast to come in, that's the reason why Envy has to jump out through a different avenue. Using that blink, but Weeha is still going to work. The fresh familiars are up, they'll get rid of the tombstone. The tower is still alive for the moment, they get a glimpse here. Back it a little bit further, and there's Misery. Forward on the crush, protecting Eternal Envy. He's still got the Aegis, the Immortal has been burned off this entire time. Arteezy can't jump himself out. This one, the Searing Chain's looking for the control. With the control, the stronger from Puppy. With that Static Storm gone, four heroes down for Evil Geniuses. It's about to become five. They're all dead right now. The Darkseer might respawn back to life again. They're trying to pick up these familiars. You still have to achieve the objective. They have to bring down the three tower, but the back wall! Universe, he jumps in for it. He burns the Aegis, the Immortal Pi. I die, the TV out barely in the nick of time. He took so much damage. Well, PA, there's your BT, he's just coming back. It is gonna be Weeha back to the front line. Completely Universe, stuck. He goes and we can't protect him anymore. That's gonna be fun. And now he's gonna go down. No, he won't. The Greaves, no, it will be. The PA jumps forward. They'll find the damage. There's, There's no, no buyback on our TZ. There's no one alive for EG. Even if Beastmaster does come up in 13 seconds, he's not enough to stop this push. Him alone, he's not gonna be able to do it. They might just give up this Rax and say, okay, we'll fight for the last tier two at top. This is huge damage done to the base right now, and a lot of gold on the side of Eternal Envy. He's got 6,300. He's jumping in, he went for the blink crawl with the Necro Books down as well. Laguna Blade, there's your back again. But Universe, the damage, he can't even kill a puppy. He got Glimps back, the Ice Blast on the way, and Puppy just on the edge of it. He doesn't get connected. Chill is over on the leader, but that won't be enough. Universe jumps forward. He needs some extra control. The Abyssal Blade, however, is no, well, there's no mana for it. There was just the one hit bash that came out that did the work, but Universe wants to keep going. Blink in one second time. Weeha buys the space with the Yule Scepter. And where do you go, Universe? He surges back home. He will not take the risk and chase any further, but they keep their bottom racks alive. And you've still got chances for these Ice Blasts. It's off cooldown in five seconds time for Ancient Apparition. And that was the best possible scenario that you were going to get out of that. Just losing one set of racks when you had five heroes down and no buyback on RTZ. On PPD. 
He's in real trouble. Tries to actually juke it out in this tree line, but he wasn't ready for the Shadow Blade of Weeha to see him. The Ice Blast might connect, and now Universe actually jumping forward. He's got the, the vacuum wall. wall. Making it difficult for them to escape, but the Suns are just too good. Arteezy moves the front line, got the burn over on Puppy, turns on that shield as Puppy, the ghost after meeting Arteezy cannot attack him, but there's your back wall. Catching out Misery. They need to get more than this. The BTs are coming in again. The Suns on Pylai die. It's the male who BTs forward, but we are. Arteezy will dodge him with the side of Fist as well, he'll survive the ball charge up, and they'll go for more as well, Misery needs to crush up Universe, but now it's the male on the front lines, he doesn't have his roar available. And also with PA behind him, they're not sure about this, but they just use the Dark Sea Illusions to move forward. Universe, one second, he can blink forward, slowing down PA, but PA blinks up to Misery, he'll force off him in, as Seeker desperately scramble to get home. Can't afford to lose any more because the Lina doesn't have buyback available. And all of a sudden, EG turn it, and they're in a much better position than they were two minutes ago. As they've lost one set of racks, yes, but you got a lot out of that engagement. Keezy's working on that second crit. He's just going to buy it out, I think, for the next time around. <laughs> Somehow, some way, they're managing to hold on. You've got the assault curse comp completed on EG Fear too. It still cost him so heavily. But they bought back on three of their heroes. <laughs> and then again, Team Secret, they bought back on Puppy as well as Weeha. And Weeha slowed down everything else. Like he wanted to upgrade his double BTs. But how great is this as well for both EG as well as Secret? Because you can utilize these buybacks where if you do have a buyback on Beastmaster, he just BTs forward towards Hawks or Familiars. And then you use the then you use Weeha, he could just BT onto any hero that's in trouble. Misery wants to jump in, Weeha will piggyback. MKB completed fully on that Phantom Assassin. We were talking about how much gold she had after that mid Rax push, but... A lot of gold coming his way, he's got 3300 on top of that. Weeha doesn't have buyback for another 3 minutes, so you don't want to get too over aggressive before this point. And maybe even waiting for Roshan is the play. Doesn't quite matter who you give it to at this point, but working with lives is what you want. And they're securing the area around this to make sure. EG, they can't really afford to take a fight outside their base. I feel like if they lose that one, um, game could potentially just be over at that point. You won't have the buyback available on a lot of your heroes. They really need to just get one fight win so they can try and level up Rax. As if Secret win it, then they can just push through for a second lane of Rax, potentially just the GG. I mean, how many times can Universe get? ridiculous wall vacuums off again Many and again. Times. The funny thing is, he hates playing the hero. He, f he finds it boring. I almost died a little inside when he admitted that. He All prefers right. other heroes, more aggression. EG, just kind of poking and prodding, trying to get as much farm as they can before the next huge engagement. The Roshan is available now to Team Secret. Just scouting around as much as they can for wards, but... All they, all they need to do is just pop him. Turn will envy a couple of seconds. And that Roshan will be dead, but... The Beastmaster Hawk is making his way over. The Dias, I don't see this coming, however. So, EG are now aware of Roshan, and for the next 28 seconds, they'll at least know if Secret are going for it. And then PBD sends the Ice Blast up to the top. He's making it difficult for Team Secret to leave this top lane alone. And the Familiars just pushing out the bottom lane. There's no risk as well when you push the Familiars out in these side lanes. They just keep them at bay. EG have almost cut the lead in half. 20k at one point. Going up to 10k right now, and what a scary team they are. 20k behind, and they're still not counting them out. Only EG. was 30k net worth as well. Okay, they're gonna start Roshan. This time. The side have no information about this whatsoever. They move back inside their own base, so there's smoke over on the courier. Could come out, but Roshan down by one third, now one half of his life. Finally, Arteezy getting a couple of these crits in. Obviously, he's no PA, but he's still working through Roshan, and here comes Secret. They want to use Artura as bait these Necro units. They're halfway through the duration. Familiars will come and help them out. They can give the stuns to oh, ensure actually this. Gonna get and they almost got this. The Aegis so Immortal close. will go into the hands of Arteezy. There's still cheese on the deck. And in comes the PA, blinking forward. And Misery, they get the crush. The Aegis instantly triggered off. While actually Weeha, he jumps over to the Samalan Universe. Weeha's down for the count here. He'll end up shattering. How's the battle going? Nope, no, Arteezy's already dead. Fear comes back over. And Misery, they can just go for more. You might have taken Roshan. 
and you deny the Aegis to Team Secret, but Team Secret are wanting more. They find PPD. Two hits can't get a bash. He had crush. Probably thought he was going to get one of those at least, but Secret, they're heading down to this bottom area. They know that with Arteezy down, you want to at least force the buyback on him if at all possible. Well, there's the first one. EG can still do this though. If yep. they can somehow set up the fight. Well, Universe has still the back wall. Like, EG never properly initiated in them. Like, we hard jumped in to EG. Still doesn't quite solve the problem of how fragile this Ember Spirit is right now. You saw him just go down in about three hits. I think you realize what he is. Like, he's a glass cannon. Misery. Okay. You gotta be when you're behind as much as you are. When you're down 20k, you don't have the luxury of building defensive items. I'm wondering too then, what, like, does he just finish up the Daedalus? Like, is it worth it? As opposed to getting something else. Like, I don't know if he wants to get a Monkey King bar of his own. Or do I dare say the word rapier? I don't quite think we're in that territory yet. So I feel like at that point, if you just buy it and you don't have buyback, then you just lose the game. But I'm going to go for it right now at bottom. Here comes Secret. Yep. You don't want to use the, the buyback on Ember if you can help it. Well, they got eight seconds. There's fortification and Dark Seas just finishing and the Ice Blast hits really nicely. But they need more damage to kick in towards that PA, who's still on the front line. Solar Assumption, and there it is. They have to blink him away. The Lotus Orb protection is available, and then VT's forward. That's going to be the Beastmaster. It's the male. They do get a good ulti up from Puppy, and a lock He's down to Tizzy. He's too far forward. 99 seconds on the sideline. Weeha cannot be controlled. That Yule Sept was up. EG, they blew everything. They blew all the big ultimates. After that, too, they don't have the buyback available on Arteezy. Before that fight, they did, but... This might just cost them the game right now. They're gonna have to hold 4v5. They've got the heroes to do it. You don't have the wall anymore. And I think that's what Secret are waiting for. Look at PA. Envy just goes around the side. He's he can, he can smell this land final. The victory. He hasn't got one in a very long time. But then you're back in with the Ice Blast. Misery is gonna be very low. Probably take out from this one. But where is your extra damage? EG! They're actually pushing Secret back out, even though it is a three on five. Secret will re-engage in. There's still no buyback to Babel. And PA, so far on the front line, triggers the BKB. Gets the bash over the dark here with a Laguna Blade. And instantly, you have to buy back on him, but the Ancient Apparition's down as well. It is two on five now. They're losing their bottom ranks here, EG. The only thing that will stop this from being a triple ranking is just the fact that Tier 2 Town still survives on top. But Secret, they're going for the GG push. They're going for these Tier 4 Towers. I think they realized that if the Ember Spirit had buyback, he would have done it by now, but only two heroes alive eg this is a pretty impossible defense they're gonna go for it anyways jump back two men on the wall the dropper only is looking pretty damn good he took up 14 seconds until Antizi's back alive misery's kept out we are low on life but they're still beating into the fortress the familiars trying to buy this space they don't have stunts they're just gonna go down misery with a double crush the fortress still being ripped apart misery back to front lines and just four stopping him over the top now envy is oh god it's all done 58 minutes down that is gonna be the fortress exploding and Team Secret will be your champions of MLG live here in New Orleans. It's the finals of the world. And Team Secret, under their new roster, will claim their first land title. A much needed one for Eternal Envy as well. Back to where it all started for him at an MLG. No words to say. They got second at ESL. They tasted silver, but this time around, they're going to walk away with the gold. That they do, and now give them a lot of confidence coming into the majors. Terrific times, and congratulations to Team Secret.